Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint Tang Yuan or a sweet rice ball in watercolor. As always, I start with a contour drawing. I like to align my sketch with light watercolor and erase my pencil sketchings afterward. After I'm done with that, I mix the color first before I start painting and test it on another paper to avoid mistakes. And the color is ready to use for painting the ball. Then I start painting from the ball. I first put a base color on, which is a brown color. And I add darker shades while the paper is still wet on the right side and around the ball, so the color blends out nicely. This is also why I mix color beforehand, otherwise paper might dry after I finish mixing the color. For the bring of ball, I first paint out a darker line so I can see the whole contour more clearly. Then I fill up lighter colors around the top area. And make sure you leave blanks while coloring for the reflections. Next I start painting the soup. Same as before, I first put a base color on. I'm using diluted greenish yellow here. And I put darker color around the edge while the paper is still wet to create the natural blending color. For the darker shade, I'm using sap green mixed with green gray color here. Then I move on to the rice ball. Because they are all white, I strengthen the shadows around them to set off the white color, as you can see here. I suggest keeping the shadows around medium tone so it's not too dark for the white rice ball. After adding shadows around the rice ball, I can see the soup needs to be strengthened again so I go back and add more darker shades. Next I add the color on the inner side of the ball and after I put a base layer on, I use the wipe out technique to present the refraction area. I like to have a paper towel handy so I can dab the color that I wiped out on it. Then I add darker shades around the inner side of the ball. Make sure you avoid the wiped out area. After finish painting the ball, I can see those rice ball seems too white. So I add lighter shadows around the rice ball. This way it fits whole painting better. Make sure you avoid refraction area when adding the shadows too. For the spoon, I'm using diluted sky blue and periwinkle purple for the shadow part, so it's not too dark for the white spoon. Next, I move to the peanut butter filling. I'm using yellow ochre mixed with orange here. I first put a base layer and leave blanks for refraction areas, so it looks more natural. While waiting for the first layer to dry, I go back and strengthen the shadow area around the white ball so it pops out more. After that, I go back and add darker shadows in the filling, then add dark details in it.
Next, I add light shadows on the rice ball and make sure to avoid reflection areas. Then I use a white gel pen to add highlight. Lastly, the touch-up, I like to go back and see if there's any details are missing or any area need to be strengthened again. So the painting is about done here, comment below and let me know what you think about it. That's all for today's video, I really hope it's helpful and you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next week, bye!